said that I know that I now have, uh, you know. Okay. And well, I guess there is no LMC TV, so we are recording currently. Okay. And uh, the audience can hear us now, I assume. We're live. I mean, we are can... recording. Okay. We're, yeah, I mean, we're recording. They can always hear us if they're. I just want to make sure I'm not just talking to myself. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, everybody. Uh, welcome to the uh, Board of Architectural Review of the Village of Mamaroneck. It's uh, April 6, 2021. Um, and we have a full quorum tonight. Um, I'll introduce the uh, board members. We have uh, Yvonne Levine. We have, or Levin, sorry. <laughs> I'll remember it sometime. Uh, Cindy okay. Lee. Athena McKeish and Andrew Wallowitz and myself, um, William Binzer, I'm the chair. And um, we're obviously doing this virtually and through Zoom, but uh, any members of the audience who wish to participate are welcome to do so. Um, please, you know, if you want to talk, uh, indicate by raising your hand and, and Amber will let you in. Um, I'll try to remember at the end of each uh, application to ask if anybody's interested, but in the event I forget or in the interim, you know, feel free to make yourself known. Um, for the applicants, I'd, I'd ask that, you know, because we are in this format, if there are more than one person who, who want to perhaps say something down the road, please come on in the, at the same time at the beginning so that uh, you, you're on, you don't have to say anything or anything, but then if you want to comment, we don't have to go through a big shuffle of getting you on or maybe missing you or, or that thing. Just if you're, if you're part of the application, just please be, uh, be signed on and ready to talk if, if it comes to it so that we don't have to go through a process of having to find you and bring you on. Um, with that said, I think that uh, we are ready to start. Um, and I think we'll begin with the uh, approval of the minutes of the previous meeting. Um, I assume that everyone's gotten them and had a chance to review them. Yes, I have a question. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, referring to 886 Oriad Avenue, the, um, the uh, carriage house. Yeah. It says, it says, Mr. Mr. Drogan asked about the drop from the midpoint of the egress windows. <clears throat> that would have been on the second floor, correct? Yes. And it says, Mr. Marcella replied that it varies, but it will be not less than two feet. Yeah, I Wouldn't think- Wouldn't it be there, not more than something? There was some confusion. I even listened, I went to the videotape. I think there was some confusion about how, you know, how far it is from the floor to the window and then how far from the window to the ground. Oh, I, I see. That was on the inside. Not, it was not less than two feet. Yeah. So but there um, was also a question about the height for getting to yeah. the ground, right? Yeah, there was. And that was, I think, uh, and I think Dennis said it was a 14 foot maximum. And, and I think they might have said it was under. I understand. Height. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Um, that, that term drop. From the midpoint, I found yeah. kind of odd that, to that, use that, as that, an interior, was, interior kind of description. But yeah, I thought at the time that people were not on the same page there. But okay, anyway. but that's my only question. Okay. Any nobody? Anybody else have any questions or comments? No. <clears throat> All right. Uh, motion. Our motion. Second. Okay. Any opposed? Okay. So very good. And we'll move on then with uh, the business tonight. So we'll start with uh, old business, uh, things carried over from previous meetings. And uh, so the first one up is 355 Phillips Park Road. Good evening, Mr. Chairman, members of the board. Good. Bob Stanzial, how are you? Robert? Good. 
Uh, yes, we've uh, come back. Uh, we resubmitted some uh, additional information uh, on the plans as requested, just to clarify mm -hmm. a few things, and I'll uh, go through that if I can. Okay. All right. Uh, oops, that's the wrong screen, is it? Okay, can everybody see that? No, we just see you. No. Oh, just me. All right, here we go again. I have a lot of books and papers <laughs> and clutter. <laughs> right, yeah. Oh, God. So okay. If you click the green share screen, you should be able to select this, which screen you want to share, and then you can click OK or, or start. There should be a an enter kind of button. Uh, share. OK. Sorry about that again. Uh, you know, it's going to sooner or later, we're going to get back to live video and I'm going to live uh, meetings and I'll be able to get rid of this stuff. But uh, all right, I hit the share screen and uh, I'm looking for a window to share here. Okay. Uh, oh, here we go. Is that better? Well, it says you started sharing the screen. There it is. You've got there. it. Okay. Go. All Thank right, God. good. <laughs> I'm new to some my blue beam program today, hopefully to be better. Uh, anyway, I just went to, this is the uh, the plan that would, was uh, presented and approved by the board, I guess, uh, for the second time back uh, last October. The only thing, Robert, can you just enlarge it maybe a little? It's, oh, yeah. Um, yep. The whole thing, or I see it. Um, it's it's just the front the, elevation. The, the, yeah, the border of the, well, the borders of the, of the screen you're sharing are small, but uh, that, it's all right. I'm sorry about that. I don't know if you can go full screen, you know. It's, it's sort of, well, don't, don't worry about it, sorry. All right, I thought I was on full, but anyway, okay. <laughs> uh, this was the uh, the plan that was uh, approved by the board, I guess, again, back in October. This was the Fred mm -hmm. elevation. Um, <clears throat> can you see that okay? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, yes. good. So uh, this proposal, again, was mostly for a uh, stucco and ephus finish on the ground floor, uh, and then a, a brick veneer on the upper levels. Let me ask a question right away, which I'd, I'd asked before. I, right. You know, we'll get into it later. But is, mm -hmm. is there is it is there stucco and ethos or just ethos? Yes, there is. Okay, we, we can yes. you can cover it later. I didn't want to mess your throw up. I just want yeah, no, that's okay. using those interchangeably or for right. difference. Okay, thanks. The ethos uh, would be on a second and third floor levels. Of the, I'll show in a second. So. Okay. Um, well, we're proposing to make some changes, some changes we've made already, as you've seen and you pointed out, Mr. Chairman, I'd just like to go back and clarify some of those things. Mm -hmm. uh, this was the, um, this is our proposed elevation, but I noted on here revisions. Let's go right to the front elevation. So this was uh, one of the things were brought up uh, last meeting and it was really a drafting error on my part. This section of the building here was not shown on that BAR approval the last time. Uh, when we were fooling around with the plans, I had flipped the stairwells around and changed the plan, but not the elevation to reflect that. So there was about seven feet more frontage over here that there actually that there actually is that was not shown on that other elevation that we all right. picked up in the photograph last week. Right. Um, the ground floor, what we're, the ground floors are going to stay the same, um, but we're proposing to mix the elevation up with um, EFAS and and brick. We just thought that the brick was a little bit too heavy uh, sitting on top of this building. Uh, the building across the street is, is an entire EFIS building, and there are really no other buildings around them in proximity other than the backs of some commercial buildings uh, further down at Phillips Park Road. Uh, there were other corrections made on here. We had to add another window. Uh, when we went through the building department review, we had to make this a double window. That was a single window previously. Uh, to meet the light and vent requirements in the room. So that got shifted over uh, a little bit over there. Um, I notice you didn't point it out, but just for everyone's benefit, mm -hmm. I believe the uh, <clears throat> first balcony has moved about three feet over. To the right that's over. correct, because we had to move the wall on the interior again for code reasons. So that's why, yes, this balcony got shifted over to the right. Correct. I think it works out better, actually. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> we also change in our proposing, again, it's still up to the board, uh, a modification to the uh, railing here in front 
on the lower level, which is the second floor balcony. Uh, we're proposing to make this a solid cap on the building rather than a rather than have it broken up with railing. Uh, this again is an occupied roof. Uh, it's going to be a roof garden on top when all is said and done. Uh, we did uh, remove on the side, we made a modification. There were four windows here before, and I'll explain the change for that. Um, we went with two residential windows to match the other buildings, uh, the other windows on the building, because we um, are anticipating, we have to go back to the planning board for this, of not keeping this a commercial space on the ground floor, but we're going to make this an apartment. It's got a high enough ceiling, it'll have a nice loft space, so we just have the two windows uh, on the side for that apartment. The four windows was a little excessive, and they were really storefront windows. These are residential operable windows to match to the other, um, the other windows on the building. Uh, the back, again, we eliminate some of the open sections of the railing. We kept the one portion here in the end to match the front of the building. And again, the change here also from, um, from brick to, to EFIS. Uh, on the side of the building, uh, we eliminated, we had two recessed panels here. I'll show you on the rendering, which is a little more apparent. Uh, we had two, re we had three recessed panels, now we only have two. And again, we're mixing this up with, uh, with brick and EFIS as well. Um, <clears throat> Should I show you the renderings previously and what we're proposing now, just to get an idea of what? Uh, if you wish, sure. Okay, uh, let me give you this one. This was the rendering prepared the last time uh, for the, uh, again, what you approved once before. And what we're proposing now is this, that mixes up uh, the brick and the stucco uh, on the building as well. <clears throat> But, but that's still, just to be clear, that's still the same shape as the original one, whereas it actually extends farther out towards like- That's correct. Yeah, that's right. almost, this, this brick section out, here is almost that seven foot section. That's- um, It comes correct. out It comes out in line with the EFIS grid below. Correct, it does, yeah, yes. There's a, there's, a, there's a brick parapet, I suspect it comes out to- Yeah, the, it comes out to the brick parapet, exactly. Right, mm -hmm. exactly, correct, yes. Yeah. Did uh, I again, misunderstand you? Which part is not commercial anymore? This is going to be changed. We'll probably have to come back before uh, you as well because we're going to revise the front elevation here. This was going to be a commercial store, but we're going to make this an apartment now on a ground level. It's actually quite a nice apartment because the back is a nice view of the river. Um, so that's what we're proposing to, although it's not reflected on here, but we're, again, we'll have to be back before you because we're going to revise this front elevation here not to be a store. We're obviously not going to be approving that tonight. Yeah. Correct. We'll be back, we'll be back again. <laughs> yeah, well, so great to seeing you. Can okay. you flip back again to what we had approved? Certainly. I can do this as a split screen if you want to see them together. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. That'd be nice. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> Oops. If you click on that little thing in the upper right hand corner yeah, between yeah. the X and the minus sign, will it make it full mm -hmm, screen? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, you won't be able to see both though. Yeah. No, it's nice to go. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, there. Did that help? Yeah, that's no, it doesn't yeah. do anything. That's good enough. Sorry. A little bigger. Mm -hmm. So right again on the right is the original approved uh, rendering on the left is what we're proposing at this point. So mm -hmm. Is that balcony, second floor balcony, it just for one unit, the whole? Or? Oh, these are two separate units. No, he, she means oh, no, no, this right. the it, over the I mean the terrace. I, I this mean, terrace, yeah, two, two units share that. Oh, they do? Yes. This front apartment on the lower level, on the second floor level, and the rear apartment both share this balcony. Yeah, my recollection is the original plan only one unit could get there. You must have yeah that from the plan at some point. Yeah. Correct. I'm looking at the plan and it shows only accessing from the the, the yeah. apartment in the front. You must have a new plan there because before it was just one apartment. Uh huh. Yeah. Well, we always had access, but uh, might have changed. So in any case, uh, the window sizes were not changed. I know there might have been, there was a comment about that, but the windows were always the same. Um, they're black, they're five feet high, um, casement windows. 
So those were not revised in size at all. And now there is no roof balcony on the top of the building? No, there's still a roof balcony. It's still gonna be a okay. roof garden there. Okay. Yeah, you we just eliminated, all right. just eliminated the railings, yes. Uh-huh. Mm. So all that is stucco, right? Up above, that, that parapet. It's roof. ethos, correct, yes. Uh, ethos, yeah. Right, yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah, and there'll be some, you know, detailing on top. It'll bring, well, obviously, mm -hmm. you know, it'll get put yeah. somewhat of a crown on top of it anyway. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay. Well, it'll be interesting to see it when you come back with the actual residential apartment on the bottom rather than the retail space. I had grown very fond of the brick and the retail space. So I'll go <laughs> see what it looks like. What what is the um what is the elevation on the on the cross street? No plate. Oh sorry. Let me see that. The camera went the cross street uh, la, 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 la. Let's see. That was the old one. Yeah. The new one here. Oops. I'm going to get rid of this split screen for a second so I can. Sure. Uh... <clears throat> Come on. All right, that's the front. It's not the side, obviously. Okay. Nope. Ah, here we go. No, nope, it's still on it. I guess in splitting the screen, I took everything out of order here. So give me a second. I'll, again, that was the original one. Uh, sorry about this again. I'm just going to look at my own computer. <laughs> I had it set up. Give me one second. I'll find it again. <laughs> Can you see that? That's the original front. No, this is the re revised one here now. I'm showing. No, can you see what's no, on no. the screen? No, that's no, 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 that's the original see. front that we see. Okay, yeah. let me, let me have, that up. I think you maybe have to exit and share the screen again. Yeah, I'm going to bring it up in the other program and uh, that I'm in now. Let me just uh, get it there. Can oh, you see that? Is. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Right. Um, um. So that ethos still sort of wrap around the corner, and we'll still break it up with the two panels of the brick with the with the recess uh, recess panels in there. <clears throat> this on top is the uh, stairwell on elevator bulkhead that goes to the roof. So again, with respect to the commercial space, uh, again, as mentioned, we'll have to come back with that revised elevation for that. Uh, if we, mm. again, we're gonna, we just want to get the planning board approval first and go through that process. So it's permitted use, so it's not a zoning issue. It's just a matter of uh, getting a reapproval from the planning board. And that's a parking space right there, parking lot behind those Arbor Vita, right? Yes, correct. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's a lot for the adjoining building on the, on the other side, but we also have four parking spaces in here that are dedicated to this building uh, under a lease. Mm -hmm. Okay. Nobody's wearing masks in these photos, but let's see. <laughs> All right. It seems uh, there's, I don't know if we have any questions. Do anybody have any comments or anything they want to raise? Mm -hmm. 
Mr. Brush is on the line as well, if anybody has any questions. Okay. Okay. Um, you know, generally, I, 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 oh, you, I know, and I, I want to ask one more question. Uh, could you, uh, is everything on the ground floor stucco and everything up above EFIS, or is some of it EFIS, or what's EFIS? Because there's some places it says EFIS on the ground floor, so I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there is. Um, yeah, just the lower, the lower level below the uh, band here is going to be stucco. The balance is going to be EFIS above, but this will probably take a beating. But actually, this is these are going to be precast panels, 18 by 18, uh, white uh, panels, probably inch and a half or two inches thick that we're going to use on the bottom, and then they'll be mm -hmm. EFIS above that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because EFIS at the lower level won't last. Yeah, well, there's, there's yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, okay. That's good. Yeah, I guess I guess if I had a, a concern about that, those those lower grid panels, and I assume the corner is also EFIS, you know that. Yes. You know you can, as you know, you, it's not too hard to punch a hole in those. <laughs> right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. We have we have no problem really making a low level uh, all stucco if, if that's uh, preferable to the board. I think it's better. <clears throat> well, I don't know what other you. people think. My my well, my preference would be to have the, the the stuff that's you know, say, you know, at the kind of level where you could hit something into it. Um, right. You know, be be more yeah, soft. Not have styrofoam behind it, correct? I have, I have, you know, some experience in the retail business and pretty familiar with shopping carts going through EFIS. So, sure. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, um, the only other comment I would ask about, and I don't know how other people feel about, is is uh, is the parapet. We can maybe focus on that for a second. I don't think I mind the look everywhere else. You know, I, I the solid parapet, you know, makes the building visual, visual, visually larger, I suppose. I guess I have mm -hmm. some question about that. It, it would seem nicer broken up by the uh, intermediate railings. I don't think I mind it being EFA so much, but I, you know, mm -hmm. I, it was seemed a little nicer broken up by the intermediate railings. <clears throat> mm -hmm. I agree. Mm -hmm. Well, if, if need be, again, we have, there's really nothing finished on the inside. So if need be, Mr. Brescia said we can carry, um, you know, if we have just to carry the theme of the railings from the balconies going up to the roof. So just have this section of railing and this section of railing to match the railings on the balcony below. Mm -hmm. Just to break mm -hmm. that up a little bit, uh, we could certainly do that. Yeah, I, yeah, think I agree too. Okay. All right. Is any okay? Is any, that's where the that's where it was before. Yes. Uh, like no, we had more railings. Was in line with the railing. No, we had additional more. railings before. No, they weren't lined up at all. Um, in fact, no, 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 it was no, the opposite. opposite. It was, it was the just opposite. the reverse. Exactly. Yeah. Right. But I think over yeah. the railings is probably okay. I think it's the the main thing is just breaking it up some. Yeah. Right. I agree too. Yep. It looks like a cap, a heavy cap. Yeah, yeah. It, looks, right. it, it just makes the, the you know, it's, it's already kind of a, a yep. large blockish a facade. So I think breaking it up. Yeah. yeah. Make it a little more attractive. Yeah, that'll be nice. Makes sense. Okay. Are there any other uh, board comments? No. No. Are there any uh, audience <clears throat> members that wish to speak, <clears throat> Amber? I do not see anyone raising their hand indicating that they wish to speak. Okay. Um, all right, I'm, I'm, uh, I don't know if uh, Frank or Dennis had anything to say. Um, if they did, do please say so. Otherwise, I think we move on here. Um, so I think then where we are is, um, you know, voting on it contingent on making the uh, lower sections of EFIS um, mm -hmm. a, a, a more durable material, stucco or precast or what have you. 
and uh, raking up the parapet with railings over the uh, yeah. balconies. Sounds good. Right. The same looking railings, right? Yes. Yeah. They'll match. Yeah. yeah. They will project. They'll be in line with the parapet, obviously. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sure. Okay. So sure. I, I believe that's what we're we're going to vote on then. Um, unless anybody has any clarifications or other things to say to that. All right. What do you? I have a question. What do you imagine you're going to do with that? That right where your mouse is. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not sure, Mr. Wallowitz. We, we <laughs> not sure how to handle that. Um, as a residential entry, obviously, you want to have still have glass there on the street level. Uh, but um, I'm not too sure. We're still trying to come up with something for that. So, uh, you know, we're going to have an entry with a recessed area with a vestibule, obviously. Um, so, um, but again, mm -hmm. Um, whatever we do will be in kind with the rest of the building, probably black frames uh, as, as well as everything else. But again, uh, I'm not too sure. I'd like to make it, you know, I don't want to, we don't want to make it solid. So obviously we want to have some sort of uh, glass in there, even if partial, it's partially frosted glass or glass block. Or, I'm not mm -hmm. sure yet. So we'll, we'll try to fill no, out maybe something. I'm sorry to interrupt. I just received an email from Dennis on the line who um, is calling in and he says he wishes to speak. Um, he is unmuted. So I'm not sure if he's experiencing technical difficulties, but I just wanted to make that note that he is okay. looking. Okay, um, I'm happy to have him speak, but how do, how do we do that? <laughs> um, you are on mute. I mean, I do see. You said he's calling in. Can you speak to him on the phone and ask him or? So he's, I mean, he's here on a, as a panelist, Dennis. But he, but he seems to be unable to uh, speak. He must hear us. Dennis, speak up. Can he, how about chat? I don't know. Still want to be I don't think he can chat if he's on call. I'll talk to him. Thank you. Thank you. So yeah, I was saying uh, that I'm on my guess. phone calling in and now I'm in. That's good. That's good. Okay. Excellent. Hello. So um on the on the building on the left hand side on the roof, right? Um if you bring up that image again. You mean the uh the the, the other elevation. Yeah. So on the uh the upper wall there, um above the parapet, you guys have a, a window in there currently. I just wanted to make the board aware that there is a window unless you're eliminating that window. We don't, you mean he has a window on the plans you have and not on the ones we have? I don't know that that's actually there on the, on the building presently. Really? I don't know, Dennis. If, yeah, I, we can't really, have, it may just be there for access to bring uh, something in because we can't have a window there on the lot line. So. I don't think our intention is to make that a window. What do you mean it's, it's a window in actual life? Yeah. Yeah, it's a window in actual life. Yeah, we can't we can't have a window there because uh, it's a lot line window and we need a five foot setback or a fire rating. So um, that may have just been created for access for equipment or something. I'm not sure, but anyway, mm -hmm. but there won't there won't be a window there, Dennis. Important. Mm -hmm. The, uh, so the first floor, the uh, commercial now, you're saying it's going to be uh, one apartment? Uh, yes, it is, Ms. Levin, yeah. Uh, it's going to be one, whoops, wrong drawing again. Uh, it's yeah. going to be one apartment. We actually have enough height in here because this actually drops off a little bit down below. Or we're going to create a loft space in the back, a sleeping loft. So it's going to be a pretty nice apartment, actually, So and with a set mm. of stairs going up. Uh, but that will be one single apartment, correct? Mm. Stairs going up. Where to the to, uh, a lot, with, with, come back on that within again. this within oh, this envelope, okay. we'll have stairs okay. going to a loft level here. Yep. <clears throat> oh, I see. Okay. okay. Yep. Yeah, we're specifically not going to be a yeah. now for now. Yeah, I'm just thinking that that um that how they treat that area there, like this is that's the street level, right? That's where people are walking. Correct. Mm -hmm. How they treat that that facade there <laughs> would be important to know. You know, it's like yeah. You don't want to call out one person's apartment so much, but on the other hand, you have right. to have an entrance. And mm -hmm. right now, there's this grid of cement 
panels. Right. So I'm just, <clears throat> you're right. It would be nice to look at it wholly. We can't. Yeah. So I, I, I think, but I think, you know, we just have to look at what we have at face value in the apartment. That it's they're mm -hmm. charged with making it go with the rest of the building acceptably. Right. So here's so here's the here's my question, mm -hmm. which is, are you going to everything that we see now with the the so you said it was going to be a a cement block grid, right? Applique grid. Yeah, these are cement. Uh, where we sh most of it is all the uh, precast panels, eighteen by eighteen right. precast concrete panels, and the balance will be we can make it cement stucco. Rather so is, so mm -hmm. so are you going to do all that and then just try to reconfigure the last 18 feet that's 355 Phillips or are you going to hold off on treating that whole section there to the door to the garage we're, we're going to hold off. Do it all at once yeah. we're going to hold off we're looking to finish the upper two levels and then we'll make do all this uh, together in kind so we're hopefully getting on next month's planning board agenda, at which point okay. we'll be back here shortly with okay. uh, some sort. My, my thought is that, you know, we have a recessed entry here. Somehow we'll create a recess in there as well. Obviously, we don't want an area where people are going to sit or hang out. But um, so, again, we're working on that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Okay. Any, any further comments from anyone? Board, audience, building department, no. anybody? Okay. Yeah. All right, so I, I guess Dennis, right? Oh no, Dennis spoke. Dennis already did speak, yeah. Um, so he had the question about the window that was in the current construction. Um, okay, so does someone wanna make a motion to vote then? No motion. Okay. It's fine. Seconder. With the balconies added. I mean, the railings added. Obviously. Yeah, with the railings added and with a, uh, a, a cement product, other, not ethos, a, a solid product. On the, on the lower level, level right. Down the bottom. Mm -hmm. Two things. Yeah. I, I second. Okay. Uh, all in favor? Yeah. I can't really tell, can I? Um, how about all opposed? <laughs> <laughs> Any abstaining? Okay. Yeah. Either everybody was muted or everybody. <clears throat> so I guess yeah. uh, it's a little awkward with this situation, but I, I think I think you're good to go then with those two caveats, um, Robert, that the uh, yeah. the railings um, will be the balconies and that the, at the lower level, um, the the EFIS material in particular Total products the right. and by the doors and all that that is a, uh, a is stuck over a, a similar sturdy material right mm -hmm. very good thank you very much thanks for your patience mm -hmm. thank you okay, okay. Thank you. Have good, good night evening. right good night bye-bye right. bye-bye bye-bye all right all right okay with that, then let's move on to uh, new business. And the first thing on the agenda then is uh, 719 Monroe Avenue. Uh, good evening. Can everybody hear me okay? Yes. Yes. Okay. I was worried the video wasn't going to show up. <laughs> so should I should I start by sharing my screen, just telling you a little bit about the project? What's the what's the best way with this yeah, digital good. format? I think, I think that's good. You could uh, if you could just uh, introduce yourself and and what you sure. My, my name is Andrew Willard. I'm the the architect for the applicants, uh, Greg and uh, Jen Grenlin, and um, are the they project. Here now? They are not. No. Just myself. Okay. I'm I'm the applicant um, on their okay. behalf. Okay. Um, so I guess I'll start just by sharing the screen. We can kind of look over the drawings that we submitted. Okay. 
So this is the existing residence. Is that coming through okay? Focus yeah, on the window, all right? Okay. It's good. Yeah. Um, so this is the house as is. The, the project is basically, um, they want to reside the entire house. Uh, so right now it's painted wood shingles. Um, they want to go with uh, hardy product, uh, board and bat and siding that's vertically oriented, um, a stock color of iron gray, which is a, a factory finished product. Um, this is a pretty accurate rendering. We did, we did end up with a sample it's obviously going to be <laughs> kind of kind of rubbish to see the color wise, but th these two images are actually pretty faithful um, to what the what the color is. Obviously, in shadow versus light, it it goes up a few gradients here and there, but but this picture is is pretty accurate to what what the product looked like in general in terms of the darkness of the gray. Do you have um, photos or of the uh, the board and batten uh, product? Um, I don't have photos. I'm showing it on the on the exterior elevations, and I can I can easily submit that um, after the meeting if if needed. But it's um, because we don't have the luxury of of placing our windows within the pattern. We have to kind of place our pattern around the windows. So. Um, it may vary from facade to facade, but in general, it's about one foot, eight inches um, of board between battens. Um, and like I said, that, that varies as we try to kind of uh, sit them nicely in between the windows. And typically they'll, they'll be, each window opening will be flanked by a batten. We'll kind of, we'll get our, our um, module there and carry that across each facade. And then we'll have to repeat that. But in general, it, it um, visually won't won't vary drastically um, in terms of in terms of the plan this is the demolition drawing so this is the existing plan and this this bump out is the existing dormer so basically we're just taking the profile of the dormer as it exists and and carrying it out to the perimeter of the house at each end and this, so this new area will become a walk-in closet, and they're they're expecting their second child, so they're they're wanting to reorder reorganize the interior bedrooms um, and make them a little more equitable. So this part of the dormer will become part of this bedroom. This existing bedroom gets slightly reconfigured, and then they're enlarging uh, the master bath as well. Um, so in terms of the exterior, it's really just um, really just a carryover of of this profile being being brought out coplanar here and similar on the other side as well. So this side creates the closet for the master bedroom, and this side creates a little bit of extra space to help reconfigure those bedrooms on the interior. Um, as far as down here, this this will be painted uh, to match the Hardy. It, right now, it's um, it's stucco on block, just painted. Um, so they'll be painting that as well. Um, the trim will remain white. Um, any of the fascia boards, et cetera, will will remain white. So it's again, it's it's pretty pretty similar to what this image is. Obviously, not the not the horizontal siding, but in terms of the detailing of white and gray, that's that's pretty much the palette. Okay. So no, um, the only additional window is, is this one on the driveway side of the house. All the other windows stay exactly where they are. Uh, and this, this gets added to the bedroom um, right above the, where the bed will be placed. Okay. I guess quickly while we're here, this is basically a side by side of, of the existing from the driveway side of the house. Um, in terms of what's there now, and we'll be carrying this out so that it's co planar with the side. Um, we we looked at continuing the kind of the A frame, but it because they're now co planar, it becomes a little bit of a, it's it's kind of visually disturbing as an applique. Um, so we 
we thought we would break up the side of the house using the hardy board in terms of how we pattern it and tie the kind of the, the line of the roof edge across. So we'll have we'll have kind of a, a detail break here to carry that across. Um, so this... Sorry, okay, go ahead. The, ver the vertical band, the banding that you have that is going to be uh, what color? The same color or the same gray this, or? This horizontal no, break? The, no, no, no vertical. the verticals. The verticals. Um, yes, board and batten are both the, the pre-finished The same gray. color. Correct. OK. Yeah. Uh -huh. How about the yeah. horizontal pieces? This this particular piece right here will remain the gray. OK. And how about those we, the corner pieces? Right here will be, yeah. this will be the white trim to match the fascia boards. Mm -hmm. So this is the fascia, and that becomes kind of a, a break there for the roof line. And then it, continues across the front of the house is white. So this this band is the gray, board and batten is the gray. And this this little detail here, uh, one, it helps tie the roof line together, but also we're getting past the, uh, the maximum height for the boards. So we don't wanna see seams in the actual board because uh, it's not the greatest detail. So th this kind of is a, is a nice way to, uh, to terminate that and leave us without any seams in the boards. Um, Mm -hmm. Okay. And again, this gets painted out to, to match the to the gray. Okay. Let me let me see if I can uh, share a, a, my screen here because I have um, I, I do have a picture of those uh, board and batten things. Oh, here. okay. Great. Yeah. Let me see if I can figure out how to do that. If not, I can I can dig for mine while you're looking because yeah. I think I saved a few for the client. If I do that, your screen sharing will stop. So. Oh, okay. Go ahead. Okay. Um. I can I ask two questions while you're pulling that up, Bill. Yeah. For one, is had you thought about extending the eave a little bit, other than just flush on that that second floor addition in the back, right? Because it's basically no, not there, where you're doing the addition. Right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. I mean, I'm just curious. It was decided to be just basically just a trim board, and not not extend the roof for any kind of eave detail. And then my and my other question was about the um, the 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 basement, the foundation there, where it's yeah. existing stucco. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, that that represents like almost a third of the whole volume of the house. And had you thought about somehow bringing some of the detail down further? Um, that's really a question of, of their budget. Um, I see. That's not something that they wanted to get into. Um, I see. The siding was actually something that they wanted to do later on, but um, I had discussed with them bringing that onto the main project of the interior and the dormer just because, uh, you know, it's going to be a mess and, um, mm -hmm. you know, get it get it done with and the, the timing of the new baby and all that good stuff. But uh, yeah, it, it does, when it goes around to the other side of the house, it is, it is mostly in the backyard and it is on the opposite side of the home, somewhat beneath grade mostly right. and mm -hmm. covered by, covered by a large deck. Right. Um, I would, I would, and I probably will recommend to them. It, it really, it really just needs some planting maybe. Mm -hmm. because it's kind of hard you know hard surface with the heart of the driveway and so I, I think it can be dealt with in that way if, if they would like to but it does it does get broken up by the garage doors in the back and it is quite right. covered by by the deck so it it is it's a little misleading um that that's the side but that is the side you do predominantly see from the street as you're as you're headed south like yeah. on Monroe. yeah all right but i, I think, just, I I think was just curious about both it. Yeah, and so and to ask your to answer your question about why this is detailed the way it is, is that um, they just they just had the roof redone recently within the last year or two, mm -hmm. and so if if we adjust that eave either at the sides of the house or to extend out to the back, 
we then have to carry the roofing on top of the existing dormer. I understand. Okay, very. So I it, was, it. it was one of those things where ideally, I, I understand what you're saying to create a, some depth would be ideal, but um, mm -hmm. not not really in the cards, unfortunately. We're, we're trying to minimize the, the work on the roof because they sure. unfortunately just redid it. So mm -hmm. yeah, that that's a good image that um, is up on the screen now that that's that's pretty pretty close to what the spacing module would be. Mm -hmm. And again, it'll be it'll be gray on gray patterns. Yeah. Yeah. Over here. Um, yeah. Um, I I have a little problem with the way it looks. Really, that uh, on the side, on the side of the house. I mean, it's not very successful. I mean, I understand why you do it. The um, and. Uh, I mean, it's just not very attractive. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it's being driven by the the owner's interior needs uh -huh. in terms of the space. Because right now they're using the bedroom, the second bedroom for a yeah, closet and a dressing yeah. room, um, because the master is just not uh, yeah is not enough for two adults that work and you know have, have clothing of any description. So it's it's really yeah. being driven by maximizing each and every space. Um, we talked about it with the client, but again, they're, um, they're a bit more comfortable with the new profile that it makes. I did raise that as a question to them because it was a concern of mine. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah. by the time you leave what's probably a substantial enough amount of roofing as a side piece to the dormer, as you're probably talking about 18 inches and then framing inside of that. So you start to they're gonna pay a lot of money to do this work and not to maximize it. So I think that was their thinking in terms of let's push it all the way out to the side and be coplanar with the existing facade and try to break yeah. it up with the, with the pattern and the detail in terms of providing some scale and not having this giant monolithic wall that is now, mm -hmm. instead of being a nice, a nice tidy traditional A with a dormer is you know, kind of canted up and, and coming down. So I, I do understand what you're saying. It's just, uh, yeah, well, I think I've the had that part, discussion you know, with them. Is, yeah, it's a little piece of, of uh, roof that you see, the little angle. I think that's the worst because if you only had like, um, you know, the just the angle and maybe a straight vertical line, but you have the angle I'll, and then a little, bit, a little bit of. Yeah, yeah sorry. I'm going to stop sorry, sharing yeah. so you can see his screen if you want. And go okay. back. Yeah. Yeah. Hold okay. On one second. Don't lose that, Bill, because I wanted to make a comment about some of those images. Yeah. Very, very good. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. It took me forever to get it on. I don't know if I can get it back. <laughs> my, my computer security system didn't like me doing that with the recording. <laughs> yeah, I guess it's that. Yeah, that little that little triangle mm -hmm. there. That's that's a little. I, I would just wonder if there's any other way of maybe, I don't know. I mean, you know, I know there could be different ways that I'm not going to be. Yeah, uh, I had looked at, um, I had looked yeah. at kind of starting the band up here and trying to tie that in, but it seemed like it was going to get heavier and it was going to draw a different kind of, I guess, yeah. bad attention. I'm trying to minimize it as much as possible because yeah. it was on the side right, of the right. house. Um, and yeah. obviously the, um, the other thing is that I looked at carrying the trim I, down here, but again, it, this is really yeah. the one place they can keep the window and not ruin the furniture layout of the interior. So it's, there's kind I mean, of a few you, different things that we're finding. If you, don't, if you don't have the window and then don't you have a, uh, windows on the other side on the back? Uh, there's just, the there's side? just one currently. Yeah. Uh, I see. There would just be one currently. Yeah. I have uh, you know one thought on that too. Um, I mean, well, f first of all, I, I don't know that I'm, you know, just personal taste and not a, a real issue. But you know, I, I kind of like the horizontal more than the board and batten look. Uh, just, but but yeah, you know, understanding that you're going with that. If you look, if you go across the top here, it's a white fascia. So it's unfortunately it's not colored. Then you're going to come down the roof eave here, and it's still white fascia. And then it is corner piece. And that's the, so that's all white, and everything else is gray. And then there's this triangle yeah. over here that's white. Yeah, I think it's a um, triangle. Yeah. And then I guess switch. Can you switch to the front elevation? Sure. The back, I'm sorry, the back mm -hmm. elevation. The back. 
Okay, mm -hmm. so then this white trim piece continues across mm -hmm. um, and then, mm -hmm. you know, so it wraps around only, it's sort of, so it, I guess it's kind of, when you look at it from the corner, I guess it'll hang together okay. I was just, uh, it's yeah, it's funny too. It's also it's also if you're looking at the from the street side versus the back, there yeah. it's it, there's actually like a drastic difference in kind of how much it bothers me because yeah. from the mm -hmm. front you do want to see that traditional you yeah. know frame with the dormer, but then from the back you're like, oh, that's okay because it yeah, that's know, the, that's a good point. I, that's why I wanted to see the it's back. It's really tricky. Yeah, it's, it's really tricky. And this this piece over here, this covering is all white and the deck is white, so there there's a fair bit of white trim to help balance that out but again i um i understand what you're saying about the corner piece and it's something that i did struggle with in terms of how do we how do we make this a nice transition I, I kind of that may be something back. you look at with the client and say hey let's look at this in a rendering and maybe this maybe this becomes gray or maybe there's a, a tidier way well, to the fact that it wraps around the the, the right mm -hmm. helps um mm -hmm. that was the thought yeah is that it's you know this this piece is unfortunate it's kind of just a it's a remnant almost so it's it's mm -hmm. that was kind of my way to okay we've got this why don't we try to mirror that tie it into the fascia that's wrapping mm -hmm. up and wrapping across the front and hopefully break this up with some shadow lines and some detailing and and try to try to break up the mass of what is now this outline try mm -hmm. to try to tie it back into being an a and a b and a c Okay. No, was, let me, and while we're while we're dealing with these little nits and nats here, I know Andrew has something he wants to ask about too. But um, so this, if you look at these uh, boards and battens on the on the left side of this elevation that we're looking at, it ends with a board, and then there's the white trim piece. If you go the other way, it ends with a batten, and then there is this uh, corner piece. Um, is, is this corner piece, is that flush with the board or flush with the batten or, or what happens there? Sorry, sorry, which, which side are we on? Well, either Relative. one side's a batten and one side's a board. So either, uh, we, I mean, either the, the batten on the right, is, is that proud of the Oh, you're, you're saying, you're saying this, yeah, you're saying this condition? Yeah. Yeah, I would, that's probably just a drafting error on my part, but I'll, I think I would have, they'll be the same, I think. Um, I, I would imagine we will do this condition here. Uh -huh. Is the fascia uh, board, is the fascia board, that corner board, whatever you call it, uh, is that uh, flush with the board or flush with the batten? That will be flush with the batten. Okay. Because I didn't want to see the edge so that, of this as you're looking from the street side. I didn't want to see this kind of thing. Okay. So presumably the fascia board then is also. Uh, Flush with the batten, right? Okay. So when you're when you're looking up, you're not you're not seeing the butt end of the battens. They're they're terminating to this horizontal. Well, until I think that's you, what until you get above the uh, the fascia board, then you know. But that's in the back. <clears throat> yeah. You know, since it's not colored, I mean, and we're still we're trying to visualize the uh, the color and the gray and the and the white, and it's going to look kind of funny when you see that the the, the white. A triangle on the right by itself floating because I mean it makes sense on the right on the left but if you don't make that triangle you just keep the uh, I mean white I'm saying uh, I don't know I'm just thinking loud actually it makes I think he makes a good yeah, point it could, that it, it is in the back uh, yeah and it does uh, wrap around so I think I, I, I think I'm okay with it anyway um, I, I I agree. I see what you're saying, Ivana, because I, I like I said, it's a it's kind of this little appendix that kind of just is there. And so I yeah. think one thing one thing you I might be able to do is that this this portion right here, if that is gray like the batten, maybe it's a matter yeah. of just car carrying that line through mm -hmm. and making that striking a line here and giving it some detail, break it down and scale a bit, and making this part gray. Yeah. And so, so that over I'm here, saying. this part is gray and we'll it's figure gray. out how to kind of terminate the fascia as a wrap, you know, the fascia would come across and we'll mm -hmm. sort that out. But I, I agree that this is yeah. right now, it's, it's, a big, funny. it's a big flat space and it's white. And it's, so I mm -hmm. think if we can bring it into the world of the, 
of the gray hardy board and detail it a bit. Mm. Maybe it gets a frame yeah, inside or think, something that breaks yeah. it down so it doesn't point, look like a piece of plywood with a yeah. finish on it. At this point, well, I think we're that's just about giving point. opinions versus, I mean, not opinions, but uh, suggestions versus uh, critics yeah. things that you have to do. Sure, yeah, no. But, I'll, um, I'll, I'll but, here, but just a thought, if you carry this bottom piece of um, the, the, the horizontal member. Yeah. You know, another thing, if, that, if that were also white and carried across and framed the whole thing in, and then you put a gray uh, horizontal piece on top of that, then you sure. would have all of the gray hardy board within its own frame and then all of the white tying together. That's another thing right. to consider, I think. But sure. I don't think any of this is make or break it kind of stuff. Just okay. It's help, certainly can helpful though, yeah. Can I, can I make my yes. point? Yes. <laughs> yeah, we, we knew we knew you were there waiting in the wings. I wasn't going right. To so <laughs> in the you know in the images from the Hardy Plank brochure, right? Uh, those houses have a little more a little more detailing. Particularly, they often break up the board and batten with some horizontal siding. So I was wondering whether that you might want to resolve some of those issues with several courses of horizontal siding that brings you up to where the roof, the back roof hits the, uh, hits the vertical trim. I could try to share and it. If, and if you look at your count. rear elevation, look at your rear elevation a second. So essentially where you see roof, you would be seeing a, three courses of horizontal trim. Oh, on the side, uh, I mean, as a, yeah. That's what I had alluded to earlier, where I, I had looked at that in terms of saying, okay, this this will be my start point for the horizontal, mm -hmm. but it felt it felt heavy, and I wasn't sure if it was calling it like I said, calling attention to the condition, like if it was doing more harm than good in terms of yeah. do we want to make that white um, as a one off on the side of the um, house? So yeah, I, I, I wasn't was, thinking I, of white. I was just thinking of doing horizontal hardy planks. Just It'll break, be the yeah. same color, but it would you would you would break up all these vertical lines. Sure. Yeah. And you would add some architectural, you know, a little more architectural interest to the house. Sure. Uh, Understood. Yeah. And that that may be one thing I I end up looking at in terms of these how we deal with this. And the, this on the other hand, it is the back. Go go well, ahead. That's and the, the front elevation again. We've been looking at the back a lot. That's Let's the see. side. Oh, well, that is <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This is the side on the driveway. Uh, oh, you're talking about having going across the side at the elevation of the roof. I didn't understand that. Yes, in other words, yeah, when you yeah, look I think this has the datum to strike yeah. across. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah I, I didn't understand that. Just, just, and just to bring some other condition to it, other than all the verticals, because the verticals don't line up anyway. Right. Yeah, they don't. From the they first don't. floor to the second floor. Yeah, they they can't because of the wind. The windows are just too. Too uh, off, yeah. so. Right, so that's that's, that's, that's why I was thinking if you broke it up with yeah, several courses of horizontal siding, same color, just yeah, as far away as different texture, then you wouldn't have the issue. Yeah, of that's not bad. Up, yeah, so we yeah. have the suggestion of carrying the white and and, yeah. and having it all in a frame. You've got that suggestion. I think the yeah. thought is breaking up would be nice. Um, sure. I, mean, I don't know that it'll be a a, a condition mm. unless people think that, but. Um, Either Let's way, look at the front though, because that's really the part yeah, we sure. have to be focusing on. <clears throat> the front doesn't change, no? Yeah. Well, except no, the, just, the, just the, the yeah, the just board. the siding, yeah. the windows. The siding. Um, I think yeah, it all yeah. hinges we're, on what we're color. We're putting a little right. bit of detail up here yes. at the moment, uh -huh. um, but that's it. Right. The rail stays. Uh, everything else. That's pretty much right, the, right, the right. quiet, quietest part of the house. So. Yeah. So the windows are changing. From the can the existing condition. No, there's only one additional window. The windows are staying. We're we're working the pattern around the windows. We're not no no windows right. are changing. Okay. Yep. What color are the windows? The, I know. I thought I saw black shutters. Um. Right. Oh yeah. Those are yeah. Those are black shutters. I don't know that they want to keep those, and I don't know that they'll work with the batten pattern. So right. Kind of might look uh, that's what I'm funky, thinking. Yeah. And the window yeah, frames right. are white. So you're gonna have white window frames and dark gray. Uh, yep, so the window mm -hmm, frames mm -hmm, and mm -hmm, the trim mm -hmm. on the fascia mm -hmm. and this, okay. this front piece that will detail a little bit more will be white to kind of tie things in a little more. 
Yeah, I feel like the black better. sugars are not going to work out. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I don't think so. No. Yeah. <laughs> no. Yeah, the, mm -hmm. the, okay. The, the, the window boxes will be a challenge too. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. All right. Any anybody else on the board? Any further comments there? How about uh, anything? Anybody in the audience? Uh, or building department, uh, Athena? I do not see anyone who wishes to speak. Okay. All right. Now Dennis is calling in again, it looks like. No, I'm, I'm good. Oh, you're good? Okay. All right. In that case, then, um, there being no further comments, uh, uh, can I have a, a motion to uh, vote? I make a motion. a motion. I'll second. Or Cindy makes a motion. We don't want to make <laughs> <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. All right then. Um, um, but I lost my phone. Okay. Um, is anybody opposed or mm -hmm. abstaining? Okay. So I guess that's uh, unanimous and, and you're good to go. We've, again, we've given you some suggestions that we think could improve it. Uh, sure. There's a lot of vertical mm -hmm. stuff going on and some, a couple of funding conditions that, that could possibly be uh, improved slightly, but sure. uh, the general concept seems good. Mm -hmm. So you're good to go. All right, well, I appreciate the feedback. Okay. And we'll take a look at that. Thanks so much for your time. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Then, uh, Okay, the next applicant then we have is 175 Grand Street, the skinny house. The skinny house. <laughs> Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Good evening. Hi, my name is April Pearl. Uh, I am the um, the owner of 175 Grand Street, uh, the skinny house in Washingtonville neighborhood. Um, I am looking to do uh, residing. It's if you've been by, it needs it needs it. Let's see. Okay, here we go. Okay, here's a street view. Can you see that? Yes. Mm, yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> I know. <laughs> oh, let me see if I can. This worked well when I practiced it. <laughs> <laughs> it always does. Um, yes, yeah. <laughs> You had some photos too. You could do. I do. I was trying to be all fancy, but let's yeah. see. Uh, the first shot was to. pretty good with that long mm -hmm. view down the driveway. It was pretty yeah. Good. Okay. Let's see. Um, nope. Well, as long as you're there, you can tell us about the cedar. Yeah, that's <laughs> that is that's the cedar. That is what is it called? Red cedar, 18 inch perfection shingles, and they'll be painted that same. Um, red. Red. Yeah. <laughs> you share. Yeah. Okay, here's the survey. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to get. Let's see if I can move people. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm really just looking to do everything exactly the same as it is, just in new 
um, wood. I'm getting some rain um, infiltration um, inside the house. Um, it was built in 19, 1932. It's been, as I go through the pictures, you will see spots where it's been touched up here and here, but this side especially is the south south facing side is very bad. Hey, but we're um, only seeing your um, the screen with all the um, icons. Oh, you're not you're not seeing the. Uh, we're seeing all the shady. icons, you know. Right. Not, yeah, not picture by picture. Okay. Sorry about that. Well, they're thumbnails, I guess that's what they're called. We see the thumbnails. Yeah. Right. Right. Let's try this again. There you go. All right. Now is it? Yeah. Going yeah. Through them? Okay. So this is the south facing mm. side that I was explaining. Um, this is probably the worst side that gets the uh, brunt of the weather. Mm. What was that That's, little structure in front of the house there? What is that? This. This is my yeah. neighbor's um, garden. Oh, okay. Um, I, it, it, from the front of the house, there's nothing on either side of me that is mine. Um, as I go, this 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 walkway is is mine, mm -hmm. um, and then and then there's a chain link link fence. This down here has all been resided already because there was a termite problem before I bought the house, and it was repaired. Mm -hmm. uh, the kitchen was re redone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Here um, I get leaks that there's no um, proper flashing uh, between the roof and the house anywhere. Mm -hmm. um, this is a little attic space. I'd like to put a proper vent on both sides of it so that I can use the attic space. And then again, the shingles will all be replaced. Any of the trim that is rotten will be replaced. I would like a new window box. <laughs> as Mr. Seeley intended for his wife. Um, here's the side, you can see where it's been redone. Um, I, I, I feel everything has been redone just to keep the house up. Um, you can see uh, like here, it's just kind of tar slapped on in, in the seams of the roof. Yeah. So oh, like things that just- two layers of roof there too. Uh, where where necessary. Uh, luckily, there's not a lot of roof. Um, the roof is in good condition, and I'm going to save what I can, but replace everything that needs to be replaced. Here's the other side of the of my little attic that I'd like a little vent in. But like like you could see, this trim is perfectly fine, but the trim that's up on the top of the house is not. Mm -hmm. um, so, like I say, this. This here, um, I think I have just a couple of inches of my land. I bought the house from my neighbors on this side, so they are aware of the project. They have my blessing. Um, and I'm not re replacing any of the windows right now, um, be really because of budget. This is about the extent of my budget is to do the exterior uh, siding. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It'll be a nice improvement. Yeah, it, it will be. It will be. Yeah, good on you keeping it up. Yeah. All right. Hey. Yeah. Well, I mean. So, any questions? Well, you just so you're just basically replacing siding and trim. Um, and and mm -hmm. adding the vent. Adding flashing. Adding flashing. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And then you know, adding a new flower box and and uh, yeah, I think that was that's okay. all that's fact. Um, if. If I can do um, a stain instead of a paint, if it will last longer, as long as it has the same appearance, I'm okay with that. Um, if you're okay with that, but well, otherwise, it's stains been... and there's stains. There's stains that are opaque stains that look just like the paint. And then there's, you know, that, that's certainly fine. Is I mean, there, my contractor. Um, I'm sorry. Um, that, that's all I was going to say. I was, I was going to ask a question. I was going to ask if the part that had been recently replaced, if you're replacing that as well, so it matches, or are you gonna do something different there? 
I, I think it's probably just easiest to do it all, um, especially because I don't know what's underneath. So I'd like it all uh, house wrapped properly and then it would be an all in one piece. So I think it would probably be wisest to do it all. Okay. Agreed. Mm -hmm. Good. That'd be nice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, such an initial project. Well, house. It's wonderful. I've been living here for a year and a half and I just love it. Oh, yeah. It's wonderful. Yeah. yeah. I have a lot of visitors outside. <laughs> yeah, I bet. I bet <laughs> like skinny house. That's right. <laughs> Yeah, very interesting. Uh, are there any other okay. uh, board comments then? No. Questions? No. Okay. No. Nope. How about from the uh, audience or from the building department? I do not see anyone who wishes to speak. All right. Can I ask a question? Yeah. Um, um, do we, if I wanted to replace a window when need be, does it does it go through this same process or? as long as I'm replacing, I mean, the windows are vinyl. They're not, there's nothing original about the windows. And the same with the roof. Is it, um, as far as if, if it's just maintenance due, is it something I just keep doing? Well, I don't think we have any specific, and, and maybe uh, Frank or Dennis could correct me if I'm wrong. I don't think there is a specific process to historic houses. Um, um, you know that, that we have there is there's i guess you, i think you're on the national historic register they may mm -hmm. have some say on the matter mm -hmm. but i think so i think you you just fall under the building department rules so i think uh a replacement in kind you know under ten thousand dollars you could do but uh i'll i'll defer to the, the state the, historic preservation office the state oh my wife, who's an architect, says you might have to go to the state historic preservation office. It's just not I said federal. My mistake. <laughs> <laughs> I, I've been corrected there. Um, so yeah, so I think that's that. You know, I think that's the the basic parameters of there that you know the the building department would let you know if you needed to go before any of the boards or anything. Um, but I think they're okay. under 10,000 and it's and replacement in kind, it doesn't look any different. So I think you can do that as a, a maintenance item. Great, thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, well, I don't see anybody from the building department jumping down my throat. So we'll uh, assume that was accurate information. <laughs> and we'll, uh, and we'll uh, then proceed to, I uh, guess, take motion for a vote. I motion. I second. Okay. Um, any opposed? Okay, very good. I'm good. Thank you. Sorry, okay. I was And now, so is that, um, I, I don't believe this, this requires a building uh, a permit because that's why I'm here. So is that, am I good, just good to go? Well, yeah, I guess you need a building uh, permit, um, but um, I'll, yeah. let, I'll let Barbara or Amber fill you in on that. Yeah, so, so you've, You've submitted an application to the building department. The building department referred it to the Board of Architectural Review, which is where we are here. Mm -hmm. um, so once this, now that this, as the approval is given by the Board of Architectural Review, uh, your application will proceed back to the building department for them to issue you the permit saying that you've met, you know, all your requirements. To do and, and how long does that process take? Um, well, you might want to, confirm with the building department staff, but um, I, I would say at least a couple of weeks. Oh, okay. Weeks perhaps. Okay. Great. Right. Thank you so much, everybody. Thank you for your time. And good luck. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you. Take care. Thank you. Okay, I guess then we can move on to the next application, which is uh, 1445 Raleigh Road. If the applicant could please raise their hand so that I can promote you to speak.
Hello. 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 Hi, how are you? Good, thanks. Sorry. Um, um, so, uh, hi, how are you? My name is Christopher Tarmy and I'm the um, architect for the, um, the applicant, uh, Chris and Kristen Simonowski at 1445 Rally Road. And I guess I would just like to share um, my screen as possible. That should be enabled already. Okay, is that, is, is, am I sharing? Yeah. Okay, so, um, basically um, the application is to install a semi um, partially buried uh, free form swimming pool in the rear yard of um, existing residents uh, located at 1445 Rally Road. And, um, and um, again, it's a partially buried pool. So I'm not sure exactly how, how much of it will be buried, maybe about two feet. And um, that's really the application. Uh, the, um, we, uh, be putting a solid fence around the entire uh, property from the um, right front corner to the back uh, rear corner of the Chris, is that a new fence? It is a new fence. Okay. I believe, um, it's in some of these pictures, which, um, yeah. It, here. So this is the front of the, the, the home, mm -hmm. which actually under a previous application, uh, we, we have a building permit and they're going to just get started. There's a second floor addition going over the, uh, this front portion of the building here. And um, and a new roof going across the whole thing. So this is um, look at the left side of the house, looking towards the back. And, um, the right side. So this the fence will come right to this front corner here. Mm -hmm. And um, and this is the rear part of the rear, and this is the other side of the rear, and. The neighbors so this is our house here and mm -hmm. uh so these are the left neighbors and these are the right neighbors uh, the house is over here on this one and pictures of our sign mm -hmm. and so I, and it's pretty straightforward think but just if you have any questions i could also share the pool information this the specifications for the pool i want to see that well, i guess i could ask a couple of basic questions um is there any uh paving or impervious surfaces going in here um no not planned at at this time i don't think so i mean i think it's just going to be um but potentially what they do with these pools is they wrap them with a, a like a stone veneer and um but, but no there's no paving proposed i guess if we if he was going to propose some he would come back to you guys or submit it to the town yeah well the building department and the building department to do with it yeah mm -hmm. um and how do you, you get in how do you get in and out of the pool there's a, looks so, like some it's a, a ladder a ladder on both sides, I guess. Um, well, I mean, just showing one. I I'm sure. I meant, uh, I meant, no, I meant you got to, it's like, oh, yeah. It, uh, it, it, yeah, it's I, just I, like, I, an, it's actually like an above ground pool. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. So it's um, depending on how high the walls happen to be reinforced, you can see these um, diagrams, depending on how deep it is buried. But basically, it would be a ladder like any, any pool, any above ground pool. Sorry. So the pool is made out of which material? I believe it's metal. It is metal? Yeah. yeah. Well, they gave a few choices that it could be made or a few colors, I guess, right? Um, co cocoa brown, oh, top yeah. rail, cocoa brown trim. 
And will uh, the, and that see. decking that decking will be part of it or no? No, de no, there definitely will be no decking. Um, okay, it just is like this, but in the grass, on top of the grass. Basically. Yeah, you come yeah. down, go down one picture a second. Yeah, like it looks this. like that. That's what we're yeah. talking about. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so there's so a you're saying it's a yeah, there's a ladder. So, go ahead. so it's going to be wrapped around with masonry. So what you said? I, I I think that's what he will do. He'll probably do that himself eventually like um uh -huh. like uh unilock pavers around it but um uh -huh. that's not proposed so you, you don't know what's going around it it sounds like um i mean right now it's gonna look like this this is what he's doing so he's doing the pool well that has something around it some kind of wood or something yeah, yeah no this is um that's the it's hard to see obviously in this picture but that's just the that's just the body of the pool and, and the coping mm. Mm. Okay. So it's like an above, it's an above ground pool, essentially, just some of it's mm -hmm. buried. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, and um, I think, uh, well, one key, do you have any pictures of the fence that you're using? Um, the reason I ask is pretty much the only thing you see from the front is the fence. Yeah, hold on a second. I believe. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <clears throat> thought I had pictures of the rear yard. I'm sorry about this. Well, I, I thought you were putting in a new fence. Yeah, I'm. Yeah, I think. I always wanted to see what the new fence would look like. Yeah, um, I don't have a picture of it, but it's uh, like going to be a vinyl fence. Um, Is that going to be a what? Solid vinyl fence, white white vinyl fence. Um, we could. And where will it be? Beginning and ending. It starts um, so uh, on the top corner here of the garage, and it's going to go to the corner to the property line, all the way back to the corner of the property. And then to the opposite property. Can you maybe then, just okay? Um, uh, somebody, corner, somebody, corner. somebody uh, chatting says the fence is already there. Hold on a second. Is is the fence already there, Christopher? It, it, I I think so. So. Um, you I'm not sure if uh, I'm sorry. Are you the? Are you, you said you introduced yourself as the architect? I am the architect. Yes. It seems surprising that you don't know if the fence is there or not, and you don't know if it's covered with anything. And I mean, you seem honestly a little uninformed about it. <laughs> yeah, not that. Well, I had so that's. That. I'm sorry. So <laughs> I have pictures showing the fence there. So I, you know, while I. It was obviously installed under another application. I can't find the pictures, so I'm sorry about that. Um, I have it. I have it. Actually, have it here. So hold on a second. My guess is it was there wasn't a permit for it, but I don't know. Um, I mean, do you guys approve fences, or to the extent that they're visible and, and may impact the neighborhood. I mean, not as a rule do we approve fences, but right, you know, okay. 
Usually when they're the required for the pool, we do. Yeah. All right. Um, hold on one second. Photos that uh, don't don't show the fence if it's existing. Hold on a second. Um, I'm going sh to share again. Hold on. This is um, one of the pictures of the that I have of the um, oh, backyard. Okay. Yeah, that that's looks the, like a fence. There it is. Okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. No, I thought those pictures were included in my. Um, well, that was why I asked in the beginning if the, if you were putting in a new fence, and, and you said yes. So because. Um, there's already a fence, but I guess we're not putting in a new fence. You're using the fence that's already there. Mm -hmm. okay. I mean, it is it is new. I mean, new to the well, site. I, meant, I don't I know. What, okay. Uh, All right. And I am showing it as part of the application because it's required to get the you know the pool enclosure area. So, um, you know, I apologize for. Uh, I I have another picture too. So. Um, find it. Mm. It's pretty similar to the other photo. Is this the owner pretty much going to be installing this himself then? The pool? Yeah. Oh no, there's a company. It's a okay, pool company that's installing the pool. Yep. I see. It's, uh, West Rock Pool, I believe it's called. Okay. I was, I was just noticing again, you didn't know quite how far into the ground it would be and things like that. So I figured yeah, I think it's going to have to doing it. Have to do with the grading. Um, you know, and closer, see the property slopes off a little bit so it's going to be obviously more exposed on the on the far side less exposed on the near side all right well um I mean, look, it's in the back of the house. You can't see it from anywhere. I don't think you don't know. What do you tell me about neighbors? I mean, can I just, can you just run through the pictures of the house again? Sure. Not the fence, the mm -hmm. front, the street. So, um, so fr from the front, <coughs> zoom this in. from the front, uh, the house uh, 1445 is here. Mm hmm. And on the left side okay. um, is to um, sort of, they're all split split level um, homes. And then to, towards the right, same thing. This is more of like a cape. This one um, is, I guess, similar to that one. Hard to see there. Okay, and there's, what's behind you? Uh, it's like the highway. Um, That's my thought. Yeah, there's nothing um, behind you, is there? Nothing. There's no, no it's the the uh, on ramp to the ninety five, I believe. Okay. All right. Well, look, it's it's not. This, this is really only in the back of the house. It, it's not. The only okay. thing that's visible is the fence. It's already there, and uh, you know, if they might, uh, you know, I might have, I might have like to know a little bit more of how it's getting built if I were the building department, but from a board of architect review standpoint, I guess it's, it's, it's not really visible from anybody anywhere, but, but let's just see. Um, I know there's uh, other people here. Um, are there any, well, let me see if first, are there any uh, other comments from the board? 
And how about from the audience or the building department, Amber? I do not see anyone who wishes to speak. Okay. Well, like I said, from a Board of Architectural Review perspective, it's, 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 I don't think has a huge impact on the, on the surrounding area. So um, I don't uh -huh. see there's much for us here. Um, but um, I guess my, my, I was gonna say my only comment would be, but I don't, I don't think this is really within our purview, which is if, if it sticks up still pretty high and they decide to build a deck around it, then like everyone, they would be above the, you know, above the fence visually to their neighbors. But. Yeah, well, if they have to, if, yeah, at some point, if they build a deck that's of any substance, I guess they'll need a building permit for yeah. it. So, and I guess the building depart department okay. will have to decide if it has to come back, but yeah. Okay. That's yeah. all, I got nothing else. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I, yeah I, 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 I don't think- Building um, Inspector Dennis Trogan, hi. So uh, yeah, we'll take care of the permit if there's a deck, and if there is a deck, it'll be coming back uh, in front of the board if it's over 10,000. Uh, just to note the fence, they had a permit as of last year um, okay. for the install of the fence. They gave a survey. All that's been squared away. Um, let your client know, the homeowner, that they got a call for a final for that uh, that fence to close out okay. that permit. Okay. Um, and um, yeah, I'm I'm good. And we'll uh, once it becomes a um, a building permit application where it comes in front of me, then I'll be giving you a call about the the height and the ladders and so forth. Okay. Now, Dennis, given that there is the fences are going to be a requirement for the pools, uh, you know, there's a code safety requirement. Do they have to close out that permit to build the pool? Uh, the code actually said states that they have, uh, I believe it's 190 days, sorry, no, excuse me, 90 days to install once the, the pool is completed. I now, see. this is a partially above ground pool. Um, the, the pool itself being above ground is not part of the enclosure. And I do not see a sketch or the survey of the fence. So um, I'll be looking into that once the pool permit is in front of me. Okay, so I, I think the short answer, Andrew, is good from a BAR perspective, but you got to get this all squared away with the building department in terms of the fence and the safety issues and all of that. Yeah, okay. I mean, the, again, the barrier is the perimeter of the property and the, yeah, the pool can't be the barrier because it's not going to be four feet. So um, we know that on the drawings and the fence obviously has to meet all the barrier, the fence and the house have to meet all the barrier requirements. Um, and, and they'll work that out uh, with the permit of the pool, the building department, as mentioned. So, yeah. And then there's all this silk stuff and all that you got to deal with them. Right. Okay. Um, anyway, BAR wise, uh, motion to vote. Anybody? Our motion. I'm Thank good. you, Andrew. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, somebody. Thank you. All right. Any opposed? Okay. Very good. All right. Thank you, Andrew. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Appreciate um, it. And I'm sorry for the uh, my confusion. Okay. No problem. Good night. Good night. Good night. All right. Thank you. Well, and All right, so uh, next and last applicant then is uh, 414 Claflin is back for relocating the pool. Hi, how are you? Hello. Hello. Okay. You have both of the homeowners, Nikki and uh, Eve here. Hi. Um, okay. Hi. Sorry to bother you again with this, but after you approved our pool, we <laughs> sat together for an entire year and realized we never went to that area of the garden mm -hmm. while we were confining. Mm -hmm. uh, so we have submitted um, a request to move the pool. Um, the original request was here on the slide. Can you see my screen? 
Yes, we yes. can. Okay. Yes. The original approval was here. Right. We realized we never even go near there. So the new request is to go in the middle um, of the back of the house. And the original pool was just to the left here, to the right here. So it made a lot of sense to put it there. Done. My guess was you had found rock, but I guess it was. No, we haven't. We didn't even start, <laughs> no. we didn't even start the project. We, we put everything on hold and with COVID and not sure what was happening. We put it on, pro on hold and <laughs> spent every day together um, mm -hmm. in the home office and realized that we think we made a big mistake by putting it on the side. OK. Plus, we're more private when you put it in, you know, each side during the summertime is, is bushed or fenced um, on both sides. So it gives us a little bit more privacy and nobody wants to watch us in the pool. <laughs> Anymore, did you say? <laughs> <laughs> the 19 pounds you gained. <laughs> no, no. So yeah. that we came back to request your permission to move that. Okay. Um. All right, and other than the relocation, everything's the same. Same fence, same pool, yeah. same amount of yeah. paving. You're not adding any, yeah. this gravel patio exists? That, yeah, we put some gravel out during the summertime. There's no, yeah. there's nothing solid. No, it, it's, just a, okay, it's just a gravel, all right. Yeah. We tried okay. flagstone, moving all the extra flagstone around the garden and trying to make our own patio, but that didn't work too well. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, we have ourselves a plywood patio at the moment because the uh, people who make pavers seem to have shut down for six months during COVID. Wow. <laughs> um, anyway, um, any anybody on the board have any uh, comments or questions or anything to say? No, no. I, I was curious about the moving of the pool. So thank you for explaining why. <laughs> It was, it was when you sit out every day, you're like, okay, why did we put it over there? <laughs> Thank well, good. Good that you thought about it. Yeah. They always say you should think about things for a year, okay. right? There you go. I know. Now we have to get them to come back and build it. That's going to be the challenge. But then you'll be kind of committed. You may want to think about that. I'll be what? Committed. Yeah, well, I'm fine with that. <laughs> like, yeah, I'm trying to argue because we're still working from home together, so you know but no it makes sense what is the uh what is the the vertical it's vertical on the drawing here but in parallel with the pool behind the pool what is that thing that if you come out to the property there's actually a hill here because originally the pool was there was a massive pool here before we bought the house and they broke it one owner ago and this was a retaining wall for this oh. pool that was in see, here. So it slopes up there. It's, it's, that's, you can't see that wall, but it's within the ground. And then there's a drop here. Oh, it's a drop there. Okay. It's not a drop, but it's like a, a, a like a slow hill. I see. But there's definitely, there's a concrete block wall right there. I see. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you had not planned on putting the pool in the other places. You could have a lacrosse field. That was not the no, reason because, why. Because whoever broke that pool didn't remove the pool. Uh, yeah. so you have to and, not only put in a new pool, okay. but they have the old one. Okay. That's a gift. That keeps I'm, I'm, yeah, you can, I, I got it. Don't worry, Andrew. I'm joking <laughs> and I'm, I'm totally fine. I was just curious what that was. And yeah, you know, yeah. that you would. It, it's a funky property completely. We're trying to bring it back to like a normal, you know, where it's, it's all aligned and it makes sense. So yeah, the house itself has a lot of uh, character. I love mm -hmm. it. I wouldn't yeah. touch yeah. that house. I, I would, yeah, I'm so glad nobody knocked that down because it's it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Is that is that true that your the property line on the yeah the west side <laughs> goes through your driveway? It uh, well, it's like a tiny bit. So I went no. back. I went back and I looked at like 1800 or as far back as I could get on the property line, and at some point that was a straight line. And over the years, every time they did a new satellite, that's changing. So <laughs> I don't know if they had uh, an agreement, um, but we, when we bought the house, we had an agreement with the neighbor. Um, I can't, uh, deed, I can't remember where that is. Eastman. 
Yes, to say that we can use it. Um, yeah, so it runs with the mm -hmm. product. That's but so yeah. interesting. Mm -hmm. It's. I think it moved or somebody <clears throat> had a, a, a blunt pencil, but it's yeah, just, right? yeah, it doesn't, you know, if you go way, way back, uh, there's a straight line at some point. Mm. So, I know. Very strange. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, um, mm -hmm. any other word comments or questions? How about from the audience or building department? There do not appear to be any um, attendees wishing to speak. Okay. All right, there being no further comments then, could I have a motion to vote, please? I motion. I'll second. And I'll third it, thank you. Okay. <laughs> that's, that's good. Any opposed? Mm -hmm. No. And uh, all right, so then that's, yeah. that's good and enjoy your new pool location. We'll take that over <laughs> any promise. We won't move it again. <laughs> if you do, we'll be happy to see you again. It's just, it seems seem like very personable people. It's not a problem. Okay. Enjoy. Thanks. Good luck. All right. Thank you have a good night. Okay. Good night. Bye. -bye. Okay. And I see Barbara yawning, so it must be time mm -hmm. to turn. So, um, does anybody have any other business before? Uh, if not, could I get a motion to adjourn? I motion. Okay. Second. Thank you. And any opposed? <laughs> okay. I guess so. Uh, Can we just confirm is our next meeting the 15th next week? Next week? Next week? The Do 15th? I have it in my calendar yeah. wrong? Thursday. Mm. Yeah, I think uh, it's it said it on the on the ad bottom yes, here. April the fifth, Thursday, April the fifteenth. Yeah. Oh, it is. Yep. That is. Is that really next week? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. It's eight days from now. It's 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 that time of year, right? It's a little scrunchy. Yes. It's it's a happy. Well, it's not tax day. They moved it back a month. No, well, I didn't mean that Unless time of year. Paying. I just meant that time of year where the two get scrunched together. Yeah, it's daylight savings time. Everything gets closer. I know we used to cancel when we had that situation, didn't we, Barbara? Yes, we used to cancel. It was it's too much to have two meetings in nine days. Yeah. So do you want to cancel the meeting? It's really up to you. You're the one who has to do all the background work. <laughs> is is it up to me though? I, I believe it is technically up to the chair. And the board. Yeah, it, it's it's up to me, and and I would, but but as a practical matter, um, we would want to, we we you know we don't want to inconvenience people and hold them up. I mean, you right. know, people are looking to build things and get building permits and so forth. So if there are, you know, so there's there's got to be some review of the agenda and and what's there. You know, if you've only got one person and he's looking to do something, you know, that he's not going to do for a while or something, it's one thing. If somebody's trying to get a business open and get their sign, you know, that might be something else. So, so, so I think there's a pre preliminary judgment call, and then we could we can talk and we can see if it it makes sense or not. Okay, so the um, agenda, the final agenda would go out this Friday and I would need to send pretty pretty soon. I was planning to do so today actually, but I mm -hmm. did not get to it. Um, well, you, the, you probably have a good idea what's on it then. The Right, the um, applications that are um, ready, I guess, to go forward for the 15th. So if I send a, a draft agenda tomorrow, circulate that among the board members, um, or, or to you, Bill, whatever you prefer, um, to just screen them and see yeah. if that makes sense. Uh, yeah, well, I'll say right away that if there's several on it that we yeah, probably I don't remember. Do. I'm sorry. Yeah, if there's like one or two, we can talk. But if it's, you know, if there's, you know, four people or five I people. Also need to, I also yeah. need to verify that they're all ready. I usually. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, and that's the thing, yeah. So I think, you know, you gotta take everything into account. But, yeah. Okay, so I'll circulate that tomorrow, um, and we can we can determine whether or not the meeting will be canceled. Okay. Thank you. Thank okay. you. When's the one? When's the meeting after that then? 
That is the fourth, May fourth. That's a Tuesday. So that's like three weeks away. Yeah. Okay. Probably going to want to have this one if there are a few applicants on it, because then there will be so many the next time. Right? Yeah, that's what uh -huh. I said. Well, if, if there's enough yeah. applicants that, uh, you know, A, I don't want to inconvenience a lot of people, and B, we don't want to have be here all night the next one. So Exactly. Okay. Amen. All right. In that case... Oh. Um, I think we we already voted to adjourn. I think so. Uh, I think it's. Uh, I think you have to adjourn us, Sam. <laughs> Adjourned. All right. Bye bye. Okay. Good night, everybody. Bye, everyone. Thank bye. you. Bye. Good night. Bye. Bye.